Well, it's the end of August. It's still hot. Not as hot, but it's still pretty hot in most places. And where I live, end of August means county fairs and state fair and all kinds of other outdoor activities. And for a lot of people, that means slushies. So I thought the dolls might enjoy some slushies. Somebody had brought up the idea of wondering how to make a slushie on one of the Facebook pages that I'm on. And I knew exactly how to do it immediately. So I thought, ah, that's a perfect video. So stay tuned and see how simple and easy and fun this project is. Alright, so the first step in our slushie, we are going to, by the way, we are using these cups. I got these at Dollar Tree, 20 of them for a dollar. They look just like the big red ones. I think they're supposed to be shot glasses, but they're adorable and they're perfect for the dolls. A little big, but they'll make a nice big drink. So we are going to make slushies in ours. We're starting out, we're using the cups and then we're going to use easy cast resin or you could use envirotex light if you prefer i like this brand because it, it doesn't smell as bad and some blue craft sand and a cocktail straw so i've already put some in my cup i've got my little cup here and i've mixed up some resin you just mix equal parts of the two bottles in there the reason i'm filling this with resin on the bottom is the sand is pretty heavy and I don't want to I want to conserve my sand I don't have a whole lot of it so I'm filling this up to approximately that that bottom ridge on the top and then this will need to sit for about 12 hours I'll get as much out as I can put it down in the trash Okay, I'm going to have to come back and clean that up because i got some on the outside. Our cocktail straw. Uh, probably want it in. I want it to stand up a bit. So I'll probably have to um, fiddle with this a bit. So I will figure out a way to make this stand up. I'll probably prop it up against my tripod for now. But I'm going to let this sit for 12 hours. And in 12 hours, I'll come back. And we will mix up the sand and a small amount more of this resin, and we'll make our slushy. All right, so this has dried overnight. It's nice and set. It's nice and ready to go. I have mixed up just a tiny bit more of our Easy Cast resin. I actually just used the bottle cap and made one bottle cap of each of the two parts. That's all mixed together and ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I have some blue craft sand. So I don't make a mess. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use the top of our project. This is one of the reasons I seem to have a hole in my bag. What I want is I want more than what will fill this. I'd rather waste a little than not have enough. So I'm just using that. I want about one and a half times the amount of sand I think I need. Now, I'm going to take just a little tiny bit of resin. You want this pretty thick. The thicker you make it, the more of a mound shape you can put on it so it'll look more like the slushies or ices from the convenience store. The, dry, the wetter it is, the more flat it will be. That's a pretty good consistency. You want a really thick like paste mixed really well. Right now, 
this is one of those times when I actually probably need three hands. Now you could mound this up really nice and make it really fancy. You can, yeah, it's your project. I'm just showing you how to do it, giving you the basic method. You get to go make yours the way you want them. Okay. Now I'm going to make mine kind of smooth-ish this time. And now this will need approximately 12 hours to hold, to uh, dry up, dry out. So we're going to let this sit undisturbed. And in about 12 hours or so, we'll come back, we'll trim the straw, and we'll see how the dolls like it. All right, so this has sat now actually 24 hours because I did this yesterday morning. And by the time my 12 hours was up, it was too dark in here to film. So this is how it looks. We're going to cut the straw off. I prefer to cut the straw off now rather than earlier because it's just easier to manage it. And there we go. Now, changes I would make. If I was doing this again, I would look for lighter blue sand. Because in my opinion, in this scale, this turned too dark. If you follow my dollhouse videos, you know that I did the same, basically the same project in 112 scale this week for the dollhouse miniature channel and in that scale this blue is gorgeous um, and it's okay in this scale I just think a lighter color would be maybe a little better now because we're only filling the top of this with the sand you could get, I know I've seen in the past anyway, at stores like Michael's and Craft Warehouse, those are the two big craft stores we have here, and I think I've seen them at one of the big Joanne Fabrics too, in the kids' crafts, they have like bags of sand, like a strip that has a whole bunch of colors of different colors of sand for art projects. I think you'd have enough of those little tiny bags that come in those sets to do at least one of these. And that would be really cool. Also, you could use a rain you could do a rainbow one. You know, put strips of it that as you saw, this is almost like a clay mixture when we mix it correctly to do this. You could do all kinds of cool stuff. I thought about trying to pipe it with a um, take a Ziploc bag or some plastic bag and pipe it in like you would frosting, but I didn't think I could do that on the camera. Maybe if I do this again. So that's the project. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure and check the blog post. I will try and give you a little more information there. Um, and if you make some of these, be sure and post pictures either on the Facebook page or send them to me. There's a contact me on the blog post, on the uh, page of the blog. I'd love to see pictures of what you're doing and what you're making. So be sure and do that. There's always links to the Facebook page and the blog in the description for the video every week. Keep having fun with your dolls, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.